How's it going out there, everyone? Phil Montaglioni, the book peddler here. If you haven't, I hope you like and subscribe to my uh, the book peddler YouTube channel and stay up to date on book picks and in-store, out-store activity and all that kind of stuff. I'm making this video the very next day after the last one I made, and I am whooped. I was in this shop with, with buddies uh, last night jamming out music, and I had like 14 too many. You know, so I, I was hurting bad today. Um, but we had a lot of fun in here. And, you know, sometimes at night you see the lights on in here. If you're driving by, that's usually what's going on. Some good music or a, maybe a solid card game or two. Uh, besides the point, though, I'm making another one so quickly because um, Kathy and her husband Cliff brought in uh, more books and a ton of magazines and uh, had to buy them. Made them a very generous offer and they're happy with it and of course i'm gonna make mine on it i got to i'm a business but uh you know they, it was it was fair and they and uh, everything works out they eat and i'm gonna eat so i want to show you what i got a ton of magazines and if you look at my previous videos you're gonna uh see how i how i sell magazines and it's turned out wonderful for me so let let me take you and let me show you this a uh, lot man so what we have here first is uh, the Backwoodsman magazines. Again, I'm in a rural location, and um, people love these things. If, if they don't buy them in the shop, they will absolutely sell online. I'm probably going to put them in bunches, you know, maybe 5, 10, however, different allotments, and sell them that way, um, or maybe a year. So, you know, great great magazines love the co the uh, cover art um, good stuff so you know there's a lot of fishermen hunters outdoorsmen sportsmen out in this area and they love looking through this stuff take you over here fur fishing game from 2019 and then i also have some from the oh those are 90s i have but they go as early as the 70s which is cool um again i've had good success with this they were kept well, nice and clean. So yeah, that'll be excellent. Now Cliff, he's real into hit and miss engines, or he was. He may even have one or two. I might buy one off him if he wants to sell it. And this is a big collection of gas engine magazine. And I'm gonna do them by year. See them stack here. See my store is like a, a bomb went off. But it's awesome. It's Christmas every time this stuff happens for me. I live Christmas like a couple times a month. So I'm going to, uh, you know, allot them up and make it happen. And um, actually, so there's also stuff like, check out this. I mean, gas engine restoration. You know that's going to have uh, nice value. This is kind of niche stuff, but I have confidence in it. There's some more gas engine magazines. And uh, let's see here he also found some trapper magazines which uh i've sold all those ones on the shelf right there they're all gone just waiting for the pickup skin knuckles here we go those are gonna move i believe farm collector magazines bulk them up here's uh, the best of farm show i'm not very familiar with this but i had i've have had success with farming magazines so giving it another shot and here's popular mechanics and I'll figure out how I'm gonna sell these I'm not exactly sure yet if I'm gonna bulk them together or not what's in that? nothing in that okay here's some more double clutch big trucks so yeah I mean I was really happy with this and um, I also will show you another thing in this Foxfire Every year, I find full sets of Foxfire books, and they are in demand. I have a couple people on a waiting list right now. Well, these is not the books. These are like these booklets, and they're very cool, and I've never come across them before. Um, so they were really interesting to me, and I know that these are that these are going to sell. Foxfire um, was a great publication. A lot of homesteading information in them. Um, you know how to do different things how to make shine how to how to make wagon wheels how to plant stuff and 
It's Make Fiddles. It's, it, it was an excellent publication that's still in high demand. And I have no doubt that these will be as well. So do a little research on those and uh, see what we come up with. So, yeah, my, my place is crazy. I got to open tomorrow, Sunday. I'm still open. And, uh, my God, I mean, I'll take you. These bins have to be processed online. These books stacked have to go up. The books on top of the bins do. These bins here, that's a lot of work. And, um, you know, but it's going to keep me busy all week. And I'm going to be cranking and getting this stuff going. So I love it. This is a lot of fun. One of the funnest aspects of what I do. So um, I hope you enjoyed the finds. Predominantly large magazine collections. And if you're interested, of course, get a hold of me. It's a beautiful day out. I'm about to get out in the sun here and enjoy it. So with that being said, I hope everyone's doing well out there. If you haven't liked and subscribed to the Book Peddler YouTube channel. And um, I guess that's all I got to say. So we'll see you guys later. Bye.